replace your home's AC system. The answer is asolvesitall.com and an exceptionally efficient AC system. Let the pros at A show you how you can save on energy monthly and give your family added comfort. The great thing is that asolvesitall.com is on call 7 to 7, 7 days a week at no extra charge. For a limited time, mention WOCA and get a special discount. Call 877-765-4ACE or asolvesitall.com. Yeah, I ain't that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Bone Dry Roofing can and will fix it right the first time using quality materials and will deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A. News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. If you want to avoid getting ripped off and put more money in your pocket, then join me, Clark Howard, every weeknight at 6, right here on W-O-C-A, The Source. We are The Source. W-O-C-A. Welcome back to Buddy Sports Page on a Tuesday. Time now for the Knights of the Square Table. I guess we have to indoctrinate a new knight because Hunter Turner, who's been with us for five years, is now making his first appearance on the night on the Square Round Table. So go ahead, let's give him right now, Sir Hunter. He's he's now knighted. I was amazed you got it right. You said squared table, and then you screwed it up and said round and square. It's always – well, you see, when he did it before, it was the round table. Now it's the square table, so you have to be specific. It used to be the round table, and now it's the square table, and let's just leave it at that because we're running out of time. I'm just glad Hunter's here. I am too. And good luck to Tom. We hope to be having you back next week, hopefully, Tom, Tom James. Uh, all right, topic, ACC football. You know, it's kind of a stepchild in a way. It shouldn't be because they won a national championship a couple of years ago. Uh, we're going to look at our, our scorecards for the year and see what teams are likely to emerge in the ACC this year. We know pretty obviously who two of them will be, but you never know. There's always one that kind of surfaces or one that bombs. But right off the bat, I'm picking my player right now as the ACC player of the year. It's not going to be Dalvin Cook as much as I'd like it to be. i got to go with Deshaun Watson at Clemson, who, by the way, I think might win it. Florida State is a really, really terrific football team. Clemson does have to go down to Tallahassee to play them. I think Clemson, despite their problems, Dabo Swain doing a terrific job. I think Clemson gets there and winds up playing North Carolina for the championship game. Now, I, I deserve the right to adjust that later on. It's of too, course you do. It, it's you know it's it's hard to pick in July, but right now I think it's going to be. Deshaun Watson as the player of the year, Dabo Swinney is the coach of the year, and Clemson is the ACC champion. That's just how I see it. How do you see it, Hunter? Buddy, I have to agree with you, and I'll tell you why. Clemson scored 38.5 points a game last year. Their opponents scored 21.7 points per game, and they ever, well, they ended up scoring or having 7,718 yards of offense uh, with Deshaun Watson. So I think, you know, Davos Sweeney, he brings a swagger to that field, and he inspires these players, and they want to play well for their coach. And that's why I believe they will play North Carolina and they will win the ACC championship this year. I think this is a smart man here. Matter of fact, he's so smart. I think I'm going to put this on his head because it looks good on look, right now. Look, could we, could we – Hunter st- rocking out right there with, could a, we stop with your Bradshaw this? hat. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> I like there. the TV is hat. Anybody, is, welcome to the square table, by the way. It's good to be here, I buddy. Think, I think we're probably done now. So you know we'll what? Oh, wait a minute. Somebody else wants it's to It's all <laughs> because he agreed with you, by the of way. Of course. He's a smart okay. man. Not so fast, my friends, as, uh, you know, Lee Corso would say. It's an FSU guy, so we know where he's going to go with this. Yes. I think that the, the, the player of the year – I'm going to surprise you here. Mm-hmm. Not really. I'm going with a defensive guy. 
Wow. <laughs> There's an upset. I'm going with Florida State senior defensive end Demarcus Walker. I think that Florida State defense is going to be the key with the un- with the unanswered questions at quarterback. I think that Florida State defense is going to be the key to propel Florida State. They got Clemson at home. They beat Clemson. They they got North Carolina at home. I think they get to the to the uh, ACC title game. My coach of the year. Everybody said the man's out of a job. He's going to get fired. He probably won't make it through the year. Every time somebody says that about Paul Johnson, Paul Johnson figures out a way to win 10 games at Georgia Tech. I think he does it again this year. Paul Johnson is the ACC Coach of the Year, Georgia Tech versus Florida State in the ACC Championship game. Florida State wins the ACC Championship game and propels themselves into the Final Four. Two Clemsons and one Florida State, by the way. Hunter, Paul Johnson either gets fired or he's a coach of the year. Which one? Fired. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's closer to fired because it's a tougher league now than it used to be. And we haven't even mentioned teams like North Carolina very much. NC State, you know, I don't know. Syracuse is that good. I've got a new coach. But if I had to pick a long shot in that group, I'm going to take Larry Fedora. Fedora's put a good team what together. What did he win 10 in a row after losing to South Carolina last year? He yes. did. And, and so nobody, he can't even get a breath of air. So, Hunter, who's your long shot? Mark Richt. I mean, you got to give him Miami, a shot. Mark Rick. How about He's that? got Kaya. Kaya's a good quarterback down there at Miami. And it's been a long time since Miami's been, you know, to the to the glory days of the, what was it, 2001, the last time they were actually relevant, I think. That was a movie, wasn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah Space Odyssey. No. Exactly. Uh, yes. All right, so who's your long shot, Tom? Uh well, Hunter, I think Hunter hit a dead on the head. I think Mark Rick goes down there to his alma mater. If he can get Brad Kaya to play quarterback, that Miami uh, – the, the the schedule for Miami is very favorable to Miami having a good year. But I still think the dark horses who I have winning uh, that side of the bracket, Georgia Tech. There could be a darker horse than Georgia Tech. All right, so who is your player of the year again? My player of the year is going to be Deshaun Watson. Same as me. Hunter, dude. We got it. We got Defensive it. Defensive end, Demarcus no Walker. Come no, on. Don't have to even worry about it anymore. Can you come back next week? I think I found my new partner for the square table, Hunter Turner. There you go, We buddy. call him Hunter Turner Thompson around here, or Hunter Thompson Turner. You can't, can't have get that out. right. <laughs> no, but I don't have to. He knows what I mean. I'm good. So, here we go. It's the round table, square table. Hunter Turner, Buddy Martin, and this guy. What's his name again? <laughs> I don't know. Is this that guy. Mark Rick? Paul John? Oh, wait a minute. That's Tom Schmidt. So, That's all we got to say for today. That's enough, I might say.